Hello, I'm Colin Wolf, Assistant Director of Religious Education, and today I'm really looking forward to talking to you all about banana. Oh no, not, not banana, what was that? Oh, hello, you're not Ember, uh, who are you? Hi, I'm Jill Nowinski, I'm the Director of Religious Education at Community Church. Um, I'm looking for Ember, have you seen Ember? Mm, no, I haven't seen Ember, have you seen Ember? No, I, I, I've been looking, but I haven't seen her. Oh, you know me. I like my dramatic entrances. I'm glad that you two have already met each other, though. You know, I'm really excited for this video, but what are we talking about? I can't seem to remember. Hey, Amber, I, I believe you invited me here to talk with you about the second UU principle. I think that's right. The second UU source is all about listening to the wise words of people who came before. Ah, oh, so you probably mean someone like Steve from Minecraft. Uh, no, uh, uh, not no, quite. I don't think so. Uh, what about Spider-Man? No. Oh, no, Ember. No, not, no. not quite Ember. No. Optimus Prime. He was really important. No, no, no. Yeah. Uh, okay, man, I think I'm getting it. What about... Okay, maybe uh, the PJ Masks? No, oh, no, they're not heroes. No. I, I've got one, one last great idea. Uh, what about Buddha? Ah, that's a idea, Ember. That's more like it. Yeah. Well, let's talk in our human form. This isn't very comfortable. Oh, goodness, I was feeling stiff. Whee! 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 Banana, banana, banana. Who, Jill, how does it feel to have been Lego for the first time? Well, it felt pretty stiff, actually. <laughs> feeling kind of relaxed and soft now, thank goodness. Yes, it's, it's always nice to get back into human form. And we're really excited to have you here to talk about the second UU source. Colin guessed correctly. Um, <laughs> it was not Banana. It was not Steve from Minecraft, but the second UU source. Colin, can you tell us what is the second UU source? Yes, the exact reading of the second UU source is the words and deeds of prophetic people which challenge us to confront powers and structures of evil with justice, compassion, and the transforming power of love. Yay. So, Spider-Man? <laughs> Spider-Man can embody this source, but I don't know that, that we turn to Spider-Man literally as a source in this regard. Heroes That's... are good. This is something a little different. <laughs> yeah, well, in, in LEGO World, you, you both said yes to, to Buddha being a good example. Why, why is that? Oh, I think Buddha is a great example of a prophetic source because Buddha definitely shows us that letting go gets us to a place where we're not feeling suffering, where we're not worrying about the things we don't have, but we're appreciating and being present for the things we do have. A human figure who offered a body of insight that has remained influential today. That's true. Yeah. But, and he must have since I, I got this figure uh, in, in Vietnam when I lived there. So um, <laughs> must still have some influence if he has figures made of him. That's um, putting it very quaintly to say that he has influence indeed. <laughs> That's right. But, you know, so, you know, lots of the folks that, that people view as like religious figures, the UU view still as, as these people that we can look to for, for some guidance. Maybe that we don't necessarily believe that they have every answer right, but that we can uh, learn from all of these leaders and teachers and spiritual movements that have come before. Yep, wise examples. I think wisdom comes from lived experience and to pay attention to those who have lived before and done it well in terms of fighting for justice with love and compassion. Super important, super important to pay attention to. And I think that uh, emphasizing the human element of the prophetic in this case is especially important, uh, especially for a tradition like Unitarian Universalism that tries to diversify its sources. It's really important that we be able to recognize that because a person has offered some very moving piece of insight, it doesn't mean, like you said, Ember, that we need to take everything they say as having the same personal application for us. Uh, and similarly, Sometimes uh, someone who takes a stance that we may not necessarily be able to get behind could surprise you later with uh, surprising insight. So the ability to let our own conscious, uh, conscience and uh, community standards be our guide in this respect uh, to mix and match is really important. Definitely. I think, uh, I think that's some great wisdom, just like uh, Spider-Man has offered us. Uh, <laughs> and so... Thank you, too, for coming and talking just uh, even if so briefly 
about the second you use source and having a little fun. Uh, and Jill, it was wonderful to get to have you as a guest star and I hope that you can return with us to, to Lego World again in the future. Great, I can't wait. Thank you so much for having me. And Colin, thank you as always for joining in Lego World as well. Pleasure, the transformation is getting easier with each one. <laughs> and we will see you all in the next video. Uh, should be coming uh, in, I believe, two weeks. Uh, and so we will see you then. Bye. Out for now. Thank you.